Good evening from Washington, D.C., and thank you to those of you joining us from around the world for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Lauren Ashburn. A special congressional election sends shockwaves across the political landscape. The race is still too close to call, but Democrat Connor Lamb is narrowly ahead and is claiming victory in Pennsylvania's 18th congressional district, a district that has been Republican since 2002. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvey spent the day talking to voters. On the menu today at Shelley's Pike Inn in Houston, Pennsylvania, a local race with national implications. We sit at a table of veterans. This retired Marine voted for pro-life Republican Rick Saccone. You were saying you agreed with him on, on the abortion issue? Yes, uh, yeah, I do. That means a lot to me my religious beliefs, and um, we'll see how things play out, you know. Democrat Connor Lamb is Catholic and says he's personally opposed to abortion, but will support it as a lawmaker. That worries this retired Navy SEAL. Yeah, I, I kind of disagree with that. I'm not too happy about that part. But we have other problems in this country, you know, with the shootings and all that, and we got to protect the kids, you know. Last night, a nail biter. We did it. <laughs> President Trump in 2016 won this district by 20 points. Lamb supporters tell me this race predicts a midterm Democratic surge. Can we read anything into this election? I, I believe America has become disenchanted with the, the semantics of uh, Mr. Bluster, uh, DJT in Washington. This is a national issue, and it is a very clear clarion call from Washington, Pennsylvania, or southwestern Pennsylvania to the entire world, we are sick of what's going on nationally. It's over, and we're gonna turn it around. Democrats need to flip 24 Republican-held seats to seize control of the Congress in this fall's midterm elections. The chair of the Democratic National Committee says the win here in Pennsylvania, as well as the Senate victory in Alabama, show that the party can win anywhere. Republican groups poured roughly $10 million into this House race, and the president and vice president rallied for the Republican, Rick Saccone. Lauren? Correspondent Jason Calvey reporting from Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania.